So if you are pregnant or you're thinking about getting pregnant and wondering about whether or not to have the vaccine, it is important to think about two things. One is, what would COVID-19 infection in pregnancy mean for you as a pregnant person? What are the risks of it? Alongside where the concerns are that you might have in relation to the safety of the vaccine itself. A few months ago, I was eligible for my COVID vaccination. At that point, we were planning our second baby. We read lots of scary information about possible links with the COVID vaccination and it impacting on fertility. I was coming up to my 40th birthday, so infertility was already a concern for me. So I made sure that I did lots of reading and I found that there was no link between the COVID vaccination and infertility. And look, I'm now pregnant. We've got very good evidence that the COVID-19 vaccination is safe in those who are trying to get pregnant. There is no evidence that it impacts or impairs, reduces your fertility. So there's no reason to put off having the vaccine if you're thinking of getting pregnant. I can understand that you'd be concerned. There's lots of misinformation out there, particularly on the social media sites. I've certainly had lots of WhatsApp messages or random emails from extended members of my family or friends with some pretty outrageous claims about vaccination. I would say, don't just go by social media, check your source, use a reputable website like the Royal College of Obstetricians website or the NHS website. I would definitely recommend looking at the NHS websites, the Royal College of Midwives, the Royal College of Obstetrics and Gynaecology. It's the best evidence that's available, it's accurate um, and it's reassuring. Working in a care home, I'm exposed and I'm at risk of getting the virus. That came to mind that I need to get protected and I was kind of sceptical about it, trying for a baby. I just needed to know if it's safe or not. I had my first job in March and I got pregnant in April. Now I'm 33 weeks pregnant, baby is healthy, everything is perfect. So yeah, and I can't wait to have my little one. <laughs> so. <laughs> If you are pregnant, you're not more likely to develop COVID-19 infection than someone who's not pregnant. But if you do develop the infection, particularly in the second half of pregnancy, there is a much higher rate of requiring admission into hospital because the illness is that severe. COVID-19 infection in pregnancy also carries with it an increased risk of preterm birth and also a doubling of the risk of stillbirth. I had a patient quite recently who didn't receive her vaccine throughout her pregnancy. Unfortunately, it meant that in her third trimester, she became very unwell with COVID-19 and had a long intensive care stay. The baby was born early and she was left with quite significant lung scarring, which meant that she stayed in hospital even after baby was born for a good few months afterwards. Ironically, her partner um, had been vaccinated and he was absolutely fine and it was just a real shame that she was so unwell in those early days of, of baby's life. If you are pregnant and haven't yet had the vaccine, let's think about the evidence there in relation to safety. We know from over 200,000 pregnancies across the world, as well as 80,000 pregnancies in the UK, that there's not an increased risk of miscarriage. There's no increased risk to your baby in terms of developmental abnormalities. Nor is there increased risk that your baby will be born earlier, smaller, or that you will experience stillbirth. It's important to understand that the vaccines themselves don't replicate, they can't cause COVID-19 in themselves, and they absolutely cannot cross the placenta and get from a pregnant person into their baby's bloodstream. All the evidence we have suggests that the COVID-19 vaccine is safe for you in pregnancy. As a clinician, I've seen firsthand what this disease does to patients what it does to their families and what it does to the NHS. As a mother of three children, I mean, I certainly, if I was pregnant right now, I would go ahead and get vaccinated and I would urge you to do the same. If you're planning to get pregnant and if you're pregnant, I would say go get the vaccine. It would be best for you to have it, to get fully vaccinated 
and having her the baby. The key message, I think, is that the COVID infection in pregnancy could be bad for you um, and, and bad for your baby. But what is really important and what we know is that the COVID vaccination is safe for you and it's safe for your baby. All the evidence we have suggests that COVID-19 infection in pregnancy could be serious and that the best possible defence that you have to protect you and your baby is to get vaccinated.